Hello everyone. Today we are in the chapter 6 of 8086 microprocessor and today our topic is flow control instructions. First we have the jump instruction. A jump instruction whose execution depends on the status flag settings. We have already discussed about status flags and control flags in our previous lecture. Now conditional jump. The jump sh will call as conditional jump if there is any condition because you can see in here that the conditional jump operates on the settings of the status flag. <coughs> here the J and Z means the jump on not zero. So this is also an conditional the range of conditional jump. The destination level of conditional jump must be less than 126 bytes before or 127 bytes after the jump. How the CPU implements the conditional jump? If ZF means the zero flag is zero that means control transfer to print the loop this is a condition for the zero flag and if the zero flag is one it goes on execution mode so for these two conditions they have two several outputs that is how the conditional jump works this is the diagram and criteria of conditional jump jumps are two types unconditional jump and conditional jump. Conditional jump have three sections signed jump, unsigned jump and single flag jump. If the signed interruption has been occurred then the signed jump happens. If there is an unsigned interruption then the unsigned jump occurs. If the signal flag jumps which operates on the settings of individual flags is known as the single flag jumps. <coughs> By this example of code you can easily understand about conditional and unconditional jumps. Here we are printing a loop. In this we have some codes and after that we have declared a loop here. This loop is for printing some elements and here we have the condition which is J and Z print the loop. Keep going if the counter is not zero. While the counter is not zero, this will check the condition and while the counter is not zero, then uh, till that this will print the value. That's how the conditional jump works. Here are also given the description of each line. You can go through them. Now, the CMP instruction is for compare instruction. In compare instruction, you have destination and source. Here, you have a value on BX, which is the source value. Suppose it can be 0. And in AX, you have 1. If you call the compare section, then the compare will compare the value between BX and AX. If they matched, then it have a condition and if they're not if have another condition that is how a compare instruction works which is denoted as CMP in short <coughs> now the interruption the conditional jump in the conditional jump if you interrupt by something is known as interruption between the complete conditional jump we will discuss it briefly after some times this is on a signed versus unsigned jump if the value is signed then it will be noted as signed and if it unsigned then it will be noted as unsigned here are the conditional jump and there are some symbols and the description of each symbol this is for jump greater than 
this one is for jump not less than then j g e is for jump if greater than j n l is for jump not less than equal j l is for jump less than this one is for jump not greater than equal this one is for jump less than or equal this one is for jump not greater than the all description are given here you can have a snap of this one now for the unsigned conditional jump here are the symbols and here are the descriptions you can have a snap of this one and go through for examination here are single flag jumps those jumps and their symbols with descriptions are given in this table you can have snap of this one each of those symbol and alphabet have different meanings you can match them by the descriptions as like j e means jump if equal j and e they all have those types of combination working with characters here are some codes to work with the character in the working with standard ascii characters set eight sign or unsigned jumps may be used because the sign bit a byte contains character code in all as zero here are the jump instruction in jump instruction you need to declare the jmp which denotes the jump and then the destination like as you need to go to the line 5 so you need to write jmp 5 as like as you can see here the jmp top that means it will go to the top section which is denoted by this one after top you need to use the double clone now branching structures if then if then else and then case if then in this condition if the condition is true then go to the true statement and if false then go to another one this will be like a C program if for a condition and for false it has another condition this code will look like this one if ax is less than 0 then another condition and if not then another condition if then else for if condition you have a statement for else condition you have another statement that does mean if then else first it will check the if condition for this it has an instruction and for else it has another instruction but in only the if condition if then condition it will have an one statement for one condition but false there is no condition this code will look like this for if for if section it have some criteria and else it has another one now the case section in case section it will expression value defined if the value is 1 it will go to the statement 1 if 2 statement 2 and if n the statement n this will looks like this one a case then expression and then the values for this statement and lastly n the case here case and the case value is defined into ax section if it is 
less than 0 then it will put to the minus 1 if it equals to 0 then the statement will put it to the 0 and if it is greater than then it will put the value in the 1 section after that it, you will end the case so this is how the case code works in assembly languages This case program is important. You can have a snap of this one. Here are the cases and those are the statements. Now, the AND condition. In this condition, you need to check Here you can see that in an AND condition we have two conditions. This A character must be greater than or equals to in character section and Z is must be greater than or equals to in the character section. If those two functions are matched then the AND will occur. That means in AND section is always means that you need to follow the condition 1 and also the condition 2 that is how the AND condition works in this section you need to work with the both conditions but if you are in the OR conditions then you need to work on only one if you work on condition 1 you have a display output and if you work on condition 2 you also can have a display output so here only one condition is mandatory now we are in the loop section in this section we are in the loop here first we need to initialize a count then some statements and then the counter increment or decrement if this is false then go to the initialization section and if it is true then continue that is how the loop works Here are some conditions of loops. Here you define a section stop, then initialize and interrupt it by int 21h. And the loop top repeats 80 times by top loop. That means it goes to the top again and again. That is how the loop works. There are some several jumping conditions. I will give the description link uh, of I will give the slide in the description link you can may check below now we are in the while loop in this section we will do first then check that is why in this section we have while condition then do the statement while condition in here we need to check the condition then go to the statement and then again move to the condition if the condition is false then we go to another one that is how while condition do the statement and end the while this code will looks like this a while condition then there are some tasks in the condition and then after that end the condition then the repeat loop section in the repeat section we have statements and until conditions we will do the work until and until the condition is false we came here do the task and go to the condition then if it is false then again go to the statement if it becomes true then we will leave the condition and go forward that's how the repeat loop works that is how the repeat loop works it goes with the until condition that's for today thank you